welcome and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to organize for my first semester of nursing school. So the method that I'm using to stay organized during the semester is based off of an idea that I got from another YouTuber called Tiffany Marie, I believe that's her channel name. I'm going to tag her video down below so you guys can go watch it. I based it kind of off of her video, but it's not entirely the same. Um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to have a binder for the semester, but in this binder, I'm just going to have what I'm currently learning. So basically, the material that I'm so basically the material that I'm learning before the exam. So once we get tested on that material, I'm going to move it over to this filing. What is this? To this filing folder, to so this filing folder, organizer, whatever you call it. Um, so this one has a lot more tabs. I'll probably use this one throughout nursing school. So once I get tested on the material, I'm going to move it out from my binder and put it into this organizer. I'm just going to paper clip all the material together and just put like an indicator of what chapter that was or what um, topic and then put it on in here for I'll have each one also like named categorized for each class like I mentioned in my previous video this semester I have five classes so I'm going to split it up into five for the semester I'm not sure how I'm going to do it once the semester has ended because um, I'm not sure I have enough space for each one so I think that once the semester ends I'm just going to move everything from that semester into one category and leave more space for the rest of the classes I'll probably put like the semester I'm not sure if I'll leave it up front or in the back I mean I have time to decide that I'm just gonna worry about this semester for now so I bought a pack of dividers to put in the binder and I'm going to label them according to each course so this one comes with eight, so what I'll probably do is leave one for the labs as well. That way I can categorize it, that way I can separate it from lecture and lab. Um, right now I don't know anything about clinical, so if anything I will put clinical either in a separate binder or a folder. I also have some folders here. I'm not sure what I'll use the folders for. Originally I was just going to use the folders to organize but I really like the binder method. Um, so, so I'll see what I end up doing with these. I'm not entirely sure yet but I, I'll definitely use it for clinicals and then maybe like more miscellaneous things will go in here. This is mostly going to be for like any printouts I have because I will be trying to take notes on the iPad that I purchased so I'm gonna try and switch to digital as well as like notebooks for two of my courses. I may just do notebooks for those two. So what I want to do is once I have the notes written down and like organized the way that I want to. I want to print them out and I have a... what is that machine called? I'm having a brain fart right now. I have a... oh my gosh, what is it called? I have a laminator. So I want to laminate them as I go and then put them in here just for more of an easy access. I just feel like having the paper here in front of me is a lot easier to use to study than the screen of an iPad. So what I want to do is take notes on there but then print it out so that I could study here. Also any worksheets or papers that they give us I will put it in here according to the class. So that's really what I want to use this for but I won't be taking notes in here directly. I just feel like it'll be a lot better to have everything in here and then as soon as I'm done with that material move it over so I really like that method that I saw and I just want to give it a try I mean if I don't like it this first semester I will try something new I just want to try different things and see what works for me I never really learned a good way to study so I'm trying different methods out to see which one is best for me so now I'm just going to pull out these labels Okay, so I'm just going to insert the dividers into my binder now and write the names of my courses. I thought that these dividers would come with like stickers so that I could reuse these dividers, but I guess not. So I'm just going to write on them. I'm not entirely sure if the ink will stick to this material. It's like a very slippery material, so I'm pretty sure it's going to erase. I'm gonna have to find stickers for it. 
it shows stickers on the cover so I thought that it came with them but maybe I should have looked more into it anyways let's just insert these and we'll see Okay, so this is the binder with the dividers already inside. I'm going to wait and get stickers instead because I'd like to use these divide, reuse these dividers if I can. So I don't really want to write on here. Um, apart from that, I don't think that the ink is going to stick to this. So I'm just going to wait and find some stickers to write on them. The class names. Um, I also want to see if I can maybe get like a sticker made for here to put on the front of my binder just because it's a little plain and I just want to make it look a little nicer. So that's pretty much it on the organization. I just wanted to share with you guys what method I was going to try out this semester. Um, don't forget to check out Tiffany's video that I will have linked down below because this method is based on her idea and the method that she is using. It's a little bit different, but the majority of it is based off of her method. In the next week, I hope to do a plan with me um, to plan for the next semester. I'm just waiting on them to give us access to the course or at least give us the syllabus for the courses. Um, like I said in my previous video, they're running behind. Um, I'm going to put the video up here so you guys can go watch it if you have not watched it. So yeah, they're just running behind with everything. I'm just hoping that they will give us access soon because I do start on the 31st. So I do want to be a little bit prepared and just have it planned out. Before I end this video, I just really want to thank you guys for supporting and watching my videos. I'm really close to hitting 100 subscribers. I know 100 is really not that much, but to just have started a little over a month ago, it's really exciting to see my channel grow. So I just want to thank you guys so much. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I would like to do a little giveaway, just something small because um, nursing school is really expensive and I have been spending a lot of money so I'm not really in a place to do a big giveaway but maybe just something small to thank you guys so much for your support I know I haven't really been putting out a lot of content but once the semester starts I will have a lot more to I will have a lot more content so if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it if you guys could share it with your friends and family subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my videos I'll see you guys in my following video. Thank you. Bye.